excuse me, Moxley's challenger, MJF, in the main event. Whereas we're going to close out Dynamite Download 92, Moxley versus Penta El Cero Miedo. Ooh. But they were calling him Pentagon Jr. yesterday. Um, but man, he anytime he's in the, the ring, man, I just love his swagger. I, I knew this match would, would be a physical one, as all of Moxley's are, and someone that could go toe to toe with him in terms of that physicality was was Penta. Um, yeah. It still makes me cringe every single time there's a DDT and both guys deliver DDTs and both guys delivered some of those those brutal head drops. Man, it, it makes my like the hair the of my pile neck drivers, the pile yeah. drivers that Penta delivers brutal are brutal, and, and that's a move. A they were slapping the general. shit out of each other too, man. This, this was match was yeah, dude. A like, good this main is, event. Yeah, and this is what's cool, right? Is like. This is the type of violence that I like in my pro wrestling, and I, and and I'm not a, like I liked ECW. I'm not gonna cringe and like turn it off if there's blood and stuff like you. Um, but like this was the perfect amount of violence for me. Where like yeah. you talked about, like really stiff chops, really stiff kicks at times, like pile drivers that make you cringe, um, and then. Just enough showmanship, and I know it probably pissed off Jim Cornette, right? Mm-hmm. But just just enough showmanship and dancing from Penta to kind of remind you that he has that swagger, man. I love it. I love it. Yeah, you know, I, I used love, to play. I love that. I think it was WCW versus NWO, and there was I don't know what wrestler he was. He was a lucha wrestler that where you could yeah. like hit El a Parker. button. And you, well, who was it? What with the chair? Yeah, you dance with it. Yeah, Parka. Yeah, Parka. Yeah. Was okay, that's who it was. I remember dancing. I would lo- love that movie. And I'm seeing that out of Penta every time he's is in the ring. What was his uh, name? Wasn't it La, La Parka? La Parka. Sorry, it was La Parka. I said El Parka. It was La Parka, and I remember he used to be the the, the luchador who had the chair, and you could yeah. dance around. You would put it down, and you would dance around yep. the chair. Yeah. So that reminds me of Penta. Penta has that swagger to him, dude. And he's got a lot of swagger. And man, he came out and like that entrance that he had was nasty, dude. I will say that like I've been uh, and I've been playing a little bit of a heel on Twitter at moments. Um Watch I've, been, yourself. I've been hating on some of these managers that AEW has. I love managers, right? I love managers in the scope of wrestling. I think they're great. They play a pivotal role. But I notoriously, like, with with Jose the Assistant, had a little thing. And I've unfollow. held back. I've had, yeah, unfollow me. Um, I've had a little bit of the same feeling about Alex Abrahantes with Penta. Because although I love the Penta says thing, like, I think it also Agreed. is cheap. It's also cheapening, like, Penta could be a bad dude. And, like, he doesn't fit. Like, I just feel like Alex doesn't fit the vibe that, like, the like because the bastard has such a high intensity, like an anger and, a like, a, yeah. a mean streak him in. And Penta has this, like, ability to go to places with violence – I think Alex fits more with like a Ray Phoenix of the group where he's just like he, the more like upbeat, high energy, positive, like him with Penta. Is, it's weird to me right now because I feel like Penta is going through a transition as a character. And I know I'm not alone. The, the death triangle and the, like what that, that group is experiencing is I feel like there's like this, that we're watching the, the dark side and the light side of the force with Pac and Phoenix and Penta's right in that, in the middle. And if anybody knows Penta's history, although he and Phoenix are brothers, I think that darkness in his spirit calls him towards the, the bastard too. So that could be a real war. And I hope that AEW leans into that a little bit with their stories right now, because I, I think that that group, the death triangle being the trios champions, one of the things about the the title scenes in AEW is, and you can see it with the world title, this match, Moxley versus Penta, it could have been bonkers. Yeah. Title matches need to have some stories built around them. And, like, I want to see the trios belts. That's a division we all clamored for. Mm-hmm. What is the story around the trios belts? And I think that th- there were seeds – even in this match with Penta and Moxley, seeds planted of where 
the trios belts and the death triangle are going to go going forward, man. Where, where, like, where is your head at after this match? Is obviously, let's hear your thoughts on Moxley versus Penta because, again, like we talked about, violent in yeah. a good way. Um, but like, we know where Moxley's going. Where does Penta go? Because I know you love the Lucha Brothers, right? right. And you're and and the Death Triangle. Where do you see that group going? Because we we kind of see Moxley versus MJF for the world title. Um, Warlow. I I can't wait for our preview show. Um, <laughs> we we already know like the tag titles, Acclaim versus Swerve, right? Maybe if they build to that, which they could. They could is a repeat is a rematch because again. They're not fighting next week because it's Daddy Ass's birthday. What would be the trios, the natural trios like story? That's a curious question. Where do they go? Right I, I know, I know your I know the answer. Tell me. All elite, baby. That's exactly what I was hoping you would say. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole nother thing, man. I mean, that was just not to brush over that because that was a huge thing. This was the first time. Uh, we heard from I'll cheers or, to that, anything man. about yeah anything about the uh, elite and I think that thirty second promo was was amazing and I was like Perfect. wait wait what wait, what's going on what's Perfect. going on I had to rewalk yeah and so I think you know as much as I don't want anything to happen to the Death Triangles trios run um, you know a rematch or a match with them and returning would be bonkers bro. Uh, and, and, and they would be the first champs, the true, and they could say like the true champs, right? Yep. Um, versus the Death Triangle, I love it. That would yep. be so sick. And and like we know that Kenny and Pac have history. Lucha Brothers and the Young Bucks have history. We got to see the like that. I'll always remember that cage match. There isn't like, another trios team that I could see dethroning the Death Triangle. Uh, the Death Triangle, uh, legitimately. And and how Currently. cool and and truthfully, like we don't like to talk about the drama with in AEW, but like how cool yeah. would it be for the elite to come back after being like all yeah. this stuff, all this outside noise, for them to be able to come back and become the champs again? I think everybody, like, if you're if you're truly an all elite wrestling fan, mm-hmm. you're gonna be excited for that and and it would just be it, like the pop that will would be there for when kenny and the bucks win the belt again Oof. the belts again i wish that you and i could be at that show i i I, I, I it would be a lot of fun bro that's one of those pops that would be huge so that it, and the, the match itself from a, in like a quality perspective <laughs> I mean, I mean, I've talked about it before. It's some of my favorite all-time matches in AEW are Young Bucks versus Lucha Brothers. Period. I, and I then know. You talk about top matches in AEW again are Kenny Omega and Pac. Iron Man. And then match. you put all no. that together. That's just like the, you know, the potion that just makes the right. AEW so great. It's the potion. <laughs> it is the potion. I love it, man. It <laughs> is. You're right. It's the that would be a hell of a potion. Uh, right on the earth, like the eve of Halloween. Sign me There's up for your that guy. Witch's, sign me up for that witch's brew. Hey man, Halloween right there. I There's the parka. Man, that guy was the that guy was fun. Um, and again, I think that Penta has that swagger for sure. I, I love that's why, like, even though I wish that you and I could be at that match because you would be geeking out for the elite, and I would be I would have lost my voice cheering for the death triangle. Yeah. I would have held it down for us because I love I love DT, but I can't wait. I mean that's the thing. Again, a show like tonight, um, really, guys, It's e- this is one of those shows that's easy to talk about because it's just a – there wasn't – I mean, SPD, not a single miss on this show. And yeah. and, and not just from uh, like, oh, it was fun to watch these matches, right? Right. But like – how many of these matches did we already talk? Did we talk about where it was like, oh, they're building towards this person getting a bigger push, like Hater, right? Like, oh, they're building towards Hater having a bigger push. Like, we didn't even get a chance to talk about Darby that segment that much. Oh, they're Great building segment. towards Darby having a purpose and wanting to like prove himself all over again. Oh, they're building towards, you know, like 
the firm playing or like there's so many there's so many moments in tonight's show where you're saying like okay like swerving our glory just be the number one contenders in AEW from like for like the last eight months AEW sees what they got with swerving our glory that's awesome they're gonna push those guys and you know FTR's place is rock solid so it's like mm-hmm. all right like they see what they got there Oh, okay. Gun Club. Like, I see you. Like, you guys are, like, constantly charismatic, always pushing yeah. the limits as being, like, personality on fire. We're going to put you in a program with the greatest tag team in pro wrestling, and we're going to let you guys shine, right? Like, you see, like, on a show like tonight, you yeah. see, all right, like, there's some, there are some serious – seeds being planted for stars blossoming before our very eyes and again we have a lot of stars already on this roster at the elite comeback even better but like when you look like you have guys who are established but i love seeing nights like tonight where you say there's not only there are stories and there are opportunities ahead for so many of these characters on this roster. And I right. I I applaud the creative team for a show like what we just had because it's easy to be an armchair booker and say, oh, you should do this, this, you should push that guy, that guy. 